What's up? It's the Clarity Coach back, Marquise Martin Hayes. Am I a Clarity Coach? I don't know. I do all that good stuff. But I'm here to help you if you're struggling to find your purpose. So many people have heard in your life, you need to find your purpose. You need to live from your purpose. I am here to help you find out why you've not found your purpose and how to explore it. Number one, the why you haven't found your purpose. Number one, it's only because you're probably overthinking it. When I say you're overthinking it, listen, I need you to get this. The purpose for why you exist is embedded in who you are. It is embedded in who you are before life kicked you in the butt and then life kicking you in the butt helped you just tweak it and get more precise. There's a few things that you can look into that's gonna help you figure that out. Number one, what did you wanna do before life said you have to do this, you have to do that? Because there may be something inside of that that you wanna take a look at. Number two, what Traumatic life experiences have occurred that have created something new inside of you that you want to protect or defend. Number three, what ticks you off in the world that you see in the news or media that you want to solve or it makes your heart thump? You may find solutions in there, but just start writing that stuff down. But here are some other things I need you to do. Here are some positive things that you can do. They're exploratory if you just had maybe even a decent life. You know, you should just working and paying bills, but you're like, but I don't feel meaning. I got that. Number one, in this category, the positive three, I want you to start to explore passion projects. Now, when I talk about passion projects, you might have just gotten a clue from the things that ticked you off that I was talking about a moment ago. That there might be some discovery about what has converted or stimulated the passion inside of you. You might want to start looking into that, finding Well, how can I give back? How can I create what I see? Google who is out there doing what I see, but getting clear about what drives you. And then thinking about that audience that you want to impact with that passion. Maybe it's an age group. Maybe it's a gender. Maybe it's a nationality. Maybe it's a, I hate to say this word, race. I I hate the word in that context because it's such a BS term that we've made up. And y'all got to hold on because my daughter's calling. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I told you I'd be right back. Listen, that was my daughter. I had to step in and take the call. I'm going to pop up. All right. So let's get back to this. Uh, So you're exploring your passion project, right? So that may come from places, like I said, where you may feel frustration and desires you have that you want to leave a legacy in the world. That's the other side of it. The second thing you want to do is seek guidance from a mentor. Well, why wouldn't you? You know you, but there are people, hopefully, you've allowed in your life who've gotten to see some of your strengths, some of your weaknesses, some of your possibilities. This mentor can be an elder. This mentor can be a peer. This mentor, depending on the relationship you establish, might even be someone younger than you. Never be afraid. Just allow, as your group of five, your closest people are a part of you, they've watched you, They've helped you grow. They've walked you through pain. They've seen you in your vulnerable states. They may have some insights that you just might want to consider. A good friend of mine from high school, Everett Hill, who I hadn't talked to in 30 years, reached out to me about four, three, four years ago during the pandemic. It's like, you need to start talking, Marquise. You need, you, we need your voice out here. And I'm like, bro, I haven't, what are you talking about? He's like, I know it's in you. I've heard you before and the world needs your voice. And it's like, yeah, I'll do some stuff here and there. And I just stayed reluctant. And although he wasn't a direct mentor, he was a voice that it sparked something in me. And he kept coming back. And finally, now consistency has kicked in. And I'm seeing that, okay, I do have a voice because I was actually dealing with something inside of me around whether or not my voice was respected or if I had to be have the perfect life before I allowed my voice. I was going through this whole thing, what you might be doing and why you struggle with purpose, outside of you trying to validate it by the world's expectations of it. Mm. You see, every job doesn't need a degree. And because that's true, you need to find out what your natural passions are, nurture it, and then be in a context that works. The... So seek that advice from a mentor. The last thing that you can do is volunteer and give back. If you're searching for purpose, your life might already be full. But there's also the sense of value missing. 
And this is where volunteering and giving back gives you an opportunity. Now, listen, I want you to know, let's talk about giving back first. We also think of giving back as money. And I'm going to tell you, that's a very good thing to do. It gives you the tax write-off. Let's just be straight about it. Most of us need that or could use that in our life. It gives you that opportunity to do that. It also gives you an opportunity to invest your money in a direction where there's going to be not only the tax write-off, but a long-term return. Whether that return is financial and capital, that's excellent. That's a smart move. That's what startups are for. Get involved in one. Find a startup community. Get involved. Invest your money. You're going to help the founder and their team materialize their dreams, which is really important. You're contributing to the future of society. But at the same time, you are going to be helping that business, but literally your dollars, your cents are going to be helping the community in which their product or service will serve. That's sowing seed into the future using your money to do it. That's a wonderful thing to do. You may find that if you don't have time because you're pulled in so many directions, like that's how your life is set up, then donating is going to give you that. The other half of that is volunteering, putting yourself on the line in a way that doesn't require funds. I love the example that I often talk about. And this may find something for you as well in this example is when a woman says to me who may be in her 50s or 60s, you know, Marquise, it's too late. I don't even dream about it anymore. When I was a little girl, I had some aspirations. I would dance all the time. My parents put me in ballet, and then after a while, they couldn't afford it anymore, and they couldn't keep up the lessons. So I walked away. But my desire to dance stayed with me in high school. I danced as much as I could. I went to all the parties in college, and I just danced and did my best. But the desire to be a ballerina was what she really wanted. Unfortunately, it never happened. So now she finds herself in her 50s, early 60s, and not able to fulfill on that thing that was inside of her. You know what I told her? Here's what you need to do. Accept that that's still your reality, number one. Number two, go volunteer some time at a studio. Get around little girls, little boys who have aspirations to dance. Be with them on their journey. Volunteer your time. And although it's not you physically involved, emotionally, you're going to find fulfillment. Because oftentimes, the thing that we desire the most can be manifest in ways we never imagined. And this is why volunteering becomes something so special, something so important. In this new world where people are working remote, you have control of that. Use a trip. Take a trip, go volunteer somewhere, work during the day, and then in the evening, serve. Or go in a whole other time zone, go across one of the ponds, as we like to call it. Be in a completely different time zone during the day, volunteer and give your best. And in the evening, put in the work, especially if it's routine. There's so many ways to look at discovering your purpose. There's so many ways of bringing it out. But I think the real question you're asking is, not the discovery of what my purpose is, but will it pay off? I'm here to tell you. Getting rid of other stuff that keeps you busy just to keep you busy, (laughs) trust and believe your life is going to change if you get rid of that kind of stuff. It's not right or wrong. It's just a distraction. And any time and every time we are operating outside of who we naturally really are, then the level of fulfillment is here at best. We can only make so much money. And if we make more, what are we going to do with it? Yes, it's great to make more, and leave it for generations. That's fine. But in terms of this life and fulfillment, there's only so much that you really need to work with. And if you do it right, I keep learning, invest and let the dollars work for you. That's a great strategy, which gives you your time back. So how you spend your time every morning, every night, and throughout the day is the greatest freedom ever. If you can spend it investing in your purpose, trust me, then you will live a life so fulfilled, so amazing, wanting for nothing. This is Marquise. Listen, sign up for my free VIP group where you can explore topics like these in greater depth 
and I can help you get there. You'll be a part of a community that's absolutely free. We'll exchange and grow. There's a weekly call, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Click the link below. In the meantime, comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Click the bell and send and share this with people that you love. Ciao.